It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl. Here we are at the beginning of our 28th season with two great middle schools to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First from G. James Golson Middle School, say hello to Nia Dunn, Leontine Galabi, and Darius Holmes. And from Samuel Ogle Middle School, here they are, Brian Lineski, Essien Taylor, and Brandon Velasquez. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen sink. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. The easier questions are on the left here, worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, one of these two talented teams will come back to play Benjamin Tasker for the chance to move on to the semifinals in our middle school competition. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Let's go first to the red team. And Leontine, would you try that buzzer for me? Thank you. Good luck to you and to Nia and to Darius. And let's go to the green team. And Isian, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you and to Bradley, not Brian. I introduced him as Brian before. You are Bradley. We're going to call you that from now on. My apologies, Brad and Brandon. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically G before S. So G, James Golson and Leontine. Give me a category and a number. Let's play the ball. Body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, now that the Supreme Court has said that police can take DNA samples when they arrest someone, there's going to be a lot of scraping. Leontine. Yes, ma'am. Why did you ring in? What do you want to tell me? Go ahead. Fingerprints? Not fingerprints. Good try. Collecting DNA samples from suspects is now going to be accomplished by scraping the inside of the buccal cavity, otherwise known as this part of your body. What do you think, Ogle? Mouth. Judges? Yes, indeed. The inside of the mouth, the cheek, is where they can take a DNA sample. Doesn't hurt one bit. Go. Green. Good comeback. Let's get physical. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. If Recently, there was an experiment done on the International Space Station where astronauts took a wet rag and they wrung it. And 10th grade students wondered what would happen to that water. It formed a tube around the cloth because water has very high surface what? Samuel O. Tension. 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 Tension, yeah. The surface tension kept it there just kind of levitating in midair. It was a beautiful experiment. Go. Suggested by high school students. Go green. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, the initials of this acidity alkalinity scale stands for potential for hydrogen. PH, pH, what would that pH. scale be, Samuel Ogle? pH. pH. Potential for hydrogen. There it is. Right in front of you. Good. Go. Green. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, back in the early part of the 20th century, when scientists discovered this radioactive chemical element symbolized U, they thought... G. James Golson. Uranium? Yeah, uranium. They thought it was the ultimate chemical element and that no more would be found. Little did they know that there were many, many dozens to come after that. Go. Red. Leontine. 
Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, DNA is the best ID we have because fingerprints, they get kind of worn down as we get older. And this colored part of the eye, sometimes used to ID people, also changes with age. Can you name that, Ogle? No, isn't it your pupil's black? Iris. 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 The iris. You got that. Good. Three heads working together. That's what I like to see. The iris is used as an identifier in a lot of those sci-fi movies. You can see them looking down. Pretty soon we'll be able to turn on our iPhones by just looking at it. Go. Green. Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, you've seen the commercials on television. If men want extra testosterone to make up for a deficiency, they put a patch under their arm. Testosterone is what kind of H? Golson? Hormone? Yes, it's a hot kind of hormone. Absolutely right. Good listening skills. You jumped in right at the right point there. Go, red. Um, green, things. green things for 15? Green things for 15 points. Teams, if you eat parsley or sage or rosemary or thyme, you're eating an herb. And herbs are classified because the only part of the plant that you eat is this. Leaf. Samuel Ogle. Leaf. 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 The leaf, yes. The leaves are the parts that co constitute an herb. If you're using the stems and the pods and the roots, usually that classifies it then as a spice. Go. Green. Super eight for 15. Super eight for 15. Super eight for 15 points. Teams. This non-human primate, which shares 98% of our genes, was described as, yes, Lee and team. A monkey. Again? A monkey. A monkey. No, more, more specific. Um, a primate? Not a primate. No, Samuel Ogle. This non-human primate, which shares 98% of our genes, was described as a fantastic being by Jane Goodall. Chimpanzee. A chimpanzee, yes. Yeah, she did that pioneering research on the chimps at Gombe in Tanzania. Nice comeback. Good try, Leontine. Go green. Science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Seems your question is as follows. Uh, this device's inventor was originally going to call it the XY position indicator for a display device. But when he saw its tail and saw how it scampered across the desk, he decided to call that device this. Samuel Ogle. The mouse. A mouse, that's right. That's the mouse we use with the tail and scamper. Yeah, who could remember that big long thing? X, Y position indicator? I don't think so. Doesn't roll off the tongue. The buzzer is rung. We've had a good first round. Our score at this juncture is G. James Golson, 85. Samuel Ogle, 170. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. How about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon. Robot enemies explode and limbs fly off. Maybe that other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. Experience Taekwondo, an ancient martial art and contemporary Olympic sport. Taekwondo seeks to bring together mind, body, and spirit while promoting sportsmanship, family values, and discipline. If you are looking to participate in a healthy lifetime activity that promotes self-control, integrity, and perseverance, then Taekwondo is the sport for you. The physical benefits of Taekwondo are many. Fitness, flexibility, better reflexes, and improved self-confidence. All of these attributes benefit young and old alike. USA Taekwondo member schools are considered to be the best at teaching the sport. Utilizing only the most professional and experienced instructors, USA Taekwondo schools are the only place to learn. So whether your dream is to win the Olympics or just learn self-defense and have fun, USA Taekwondo school will take you on an amazing journey. To find a USA team member club here you and receive a free trial lesson, call 719-8666. 632 or visit our website today. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard, but I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. Visit us at ichooseadoption.org.
and welcome back to Science. Well, thanks for being here today with us. We've got six great players here. Some of them have been here before and that experience shows. Let's go find out a little bit about each of them and their schools. Let's go first to G. James Golson and Leontine. Nice to have you here today. You're wearing the school uniform colors for eighth graders, the yellow there, and that y'all look good today. And tell me about Golson. Where's it located? Um, it's located behind the FedEx field. Yeah, in Landover, not too far from where we're taping this program right now. Who's your principal? Um, Miss Ebony Cross. Wonderful. And I know she's out there rooting for you. And Miss Stacy Henry is your sponsor. She's rooting for you. Stacy Henry also worked at the Patuxent Research Center years ago as an environmental educator, and she's just a she's just a great science person. We're happy to have her with us. Tell me a little bit about alternates. Did you have some alternates on your team? Yes. Who do you have? We have Cindy Guzman, mm -hmm. Trayvon Spears, Trayvon Spears, Javante Butler, Javante Butler, mm -hmm. and Patience Giotto. Yeah, that's a long list to remember. Thanks, <laughs> Darius, for helping her out there. You did a nice job, Lee and team. We'll bring them all out along with Miss Henry at the end of the program. Tell me about yourself. Now, I told her, I said, uh, Leontine, that's an unusual name. It's a beautiful name, a famous opera singer, and you're named for her, aren't you? Yes. yes. But uh, you're not a singer. No. You're not a singer. Tell me what you like to do in your spare time. I like reading and doing games on the computer and watching television. That's wonderful. Do you have any favorite television shows Not other really. than Science Bowl? <laughs> Not really. Not really. There's a, there's a lot out there to choose from every day. What do you want to do professionally someday? I want to become a cardiologist, yes. a heart surgeon. That's wonderful. And you'd be a very good doctor. And Nia, nice to have you here. You're interested uh, in medicine too. You're interested in radiology, yeah? Yes. So you're going to be x-raying people. You're going to be studying the skeletal system. You've got a lot of education ahead of you. What do you do in your spare time? I play softball. Yeah. So you're a scholar athlete. I like that. Uh, Why do you want to be on this show? Well, I liked science for a long time, and Science Bowl really challenged me. So, yeah. it's And it is a challenge, and it's always changing, too. You always have to keep up. Nice to have you here. Thanks. And Darius, you're welcome. Darius, nice to see you again. You were here a couple years ago in Highland Park. You're growing up right before our very eyes here. How do you know so much science? Because you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, I yeah. am. That's right. There's no need to be humble about that. Do you read a lot? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I read. You read, and I bet you go online and, and check things out. You keep up with the news. And uh, tell me what you want to do someday. I want to be an accountant when I get older. Yes, because you're good with numbers, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, your numbers are looking good right now at this juncture of the game. But you want to add some more more points when we get to the second half here. Samuel Ogle, nice to have you guys here with your, with your matching white shirts over there. You're looking good. Tell me about Samuel Ogle. It's over there in Bowie. And who's the principal there, ECU? Mr. Covington. Mr. Covington. And yeah, I've met Mr. Covington. Great principal. And Ms. Maxwell, your sponsor, 13 years at Samuel Ogle and has been coming here to Science Bowl almost as many years. Now she, she's, she's hungry for a championship. She's come so close, been the bridesmaid so many times. I know you want to make her happy this year, and you made a good start here. Tell me, any alternates on your team? Um, we have one, Samantha Smith. We'll bring her out later. Thanks, ECU. Uh, Tell me something about Samuel Ogle that we should know. What makes it a great school? Well, Samuel has a lot of clubs, like we have French Club and lots of other clubs. Yeah. It can't just be academics. You've got to have some other things, some diversions there. That's good to hear. What do you want to do someday? Um, I don't really know. Probably something in the field of science. Yeah. Well, you've made a good start here. You're a great captain. I like how you listen to your two teammates there. You've got a nice, cool head. You'll be a good scientist, whatever field you choose. Bradley. Tell me about yourself. Now, you've been here before. Yes, I, w I went to Rockledge, and I was here when I was in the fifth grade. Yeah, so this is your third time or your second time? Second time. Second time. And why do you come back? Why do you like it? Because I just like science. I like the competition. Yeah, it's good. It's and it's, and it's good competition here today. It's uh, pretty evenly matched. Tell me where you see yourself someday. Probably working at Johns Hopkins for a pediatric cardio cardiac surgeon. Wow. Why did you get interested, or how did you get interested in that? Because I don't know. I went to Johns Hopkins once, mm -hmm. and I just liked how it was there. I liked how everybody wanted to help everybody else. Yeah. Nobody was focused on the money. It would just help. Well, that's a really good point. Yeah, they're out there, and they serve the community many times, even if you don't have money to pay. And a lot of research people up there as well. That was a good observation. Good luck to you. Brandon, nice to have you back again, too. You were here when you were in Whitehall, weren't you? Yes. So you got some experience. You're looking confident over there. Why do you like this show? Uh, well, I like Science Bowl because I like science. I like watching the Science Channel and learning new stuff about, like, 
different fields of science. Well, it, it's paying off because I can see you coming up with one right answer after another, and you just you're just very sharp and engaging young man. What do you want to do someday? Um, I would like to become an astrophysicist. Yeah, work for NASA perhaps. Yes. I can see you there. They'd be lucky to get you. All right, let's get back to our game. Ogle 170, G. James Golson 85. Last correct answer came from the green team. Lots of the high-valued points still to go. Anybody's game still. EC and start us out. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, if you're making dinner tonight and your job is to make the salad and you're trying to get the water off the lettuce, you can use a salad spinner, which makes the lettuce dry by using centrifugal what? <laughs> Samuel Ogle. Force. 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 Centrifugal force will dry that salad out and you'll be a hit. No sweat. Go green. Body systems for 25. Yeah. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25. The big one in that category, teams, is a multiple choice question. If you're suffering periodontal disease, are you primarily afflicted with defective heart valves? Do you have inflamed gums? Or do you have infected pockets in your intestine? Periodontal disease, which of those three, the heart, the gums, or the intestines? Leontine, shoes. Gums. Gums, yes, ma'am. Periodontal, dental was your clue there. 25 points, that takes you up to the century mark. You're back in the game. Go. Science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 25. She's going for the tough one there as well. Here it is, teams. Back in the early 1900s, scientists finally found out that germs cause disease. So to show people that areas were germ-free, they put white lab coats on scientists. What S initial term describes when there are no germs around at Sterile. all, Samuel Ogle? Sterile. Sterile, yes, that white coat bespoke sterility, and that's why you saw doctors all the time in their white coats. Boy, you got that fast. Nice answer. Go green. Science potpourri for, for 10. Science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. There are a lot of sad scientists this week because apparently there are no microorganisms living in the dust on Mars because which of the following gases, a stinky one, was not... Samuel Ogle. Yes, sir. Methane. Methane, absolutely right. I was going to give you the choice of nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, or methane. Methane is produced by microorganisms, and they have found no evidence of that. Good answer. Right on that. Keeping up with the news. Go green. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade, 20 points. Seems a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Teams, the largest record company in the world has the same name as this most familiar of one-celled organisms. What is it? Come on, Golson. What is that? Yes, ma'am. You rang in. What was on your mind? Okay, don't ring in unless you have an idea, Samuel Ogle. The largest record company in the world has the same name as this most familiar of one-celled organisms. Can you identify it for me? It's an amoeba. It's an amoeba. Go again, green. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points of teams. It was back in 1590 that this most familiar of laboratory instruments went from having just one lens to two. Golson? A microscope. Leontine? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. A microscope? A microscope it is, indeed. Good, go. You got yourself 15 more. Get more. Go. Um, Zuparate for 25. Zuparate for 25 points. Teams... Just as the iron in our hemoglobin makes our blood red, the copper in hemocyanin makes octopus blood this color. Golson. White. Not white. No. The copper in hemocyanin is what makes octopus blood what color? Green. 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 Blue. Oh. Cyanin was your clue there. Cyan is a blue, a kind of blue. Try again, red. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Seems your question is as follows. Listen carefully, a little story. You've all know, you've probably seen a pitcher plant. It's kind of like this and it's filled with water, it traps insects. Well, one pitcher plant has a symbiotic partner, an ant, that goes in and eats all the mosquito larvae because they're no good. 
and then it turns around and it poops inside the pool, thereby giving the pitcher plant what important N initial nutrient? Nitrogen. Samuel Ogle. Nitrogen. You got it. Lots of nitrogen in the pool there. Kind of disgusting using your friend as a toilet, huh? Go green. Um, science potpourri for five. Science potpourri for five points. Teams, John Krampauer's new book, Creamy and Crunchy, is all about this American breakfast staple invented leontine. What you think? Yes, ma'am. Captain Crunch? Not Captain Crunch, no. The new book called Creamy and Crunchy is all about this American staple, oftentimes found at breakfast, that was invented by George Washington Carver. Cereal? Peanut butter. Uh, Peanut butter. Crunchy and creamy. Uh-huh. Go green. Mm. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, the new San Francisco-Oakland bridge has high-strength steel bolts that seismically protect the bridge against these. Golson. Come on, easy one. Precipitation? No, no, not precipitation. These high-strength bolts on the new San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge are seismic protections against what events? Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Yes, indeed. Good. Go, guys. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, if you're sitting there, you're on Science Bowl, and you are really nervous, you might be suffering from hyperhidrosis, which means you're doing a lot of what? Samuel Ogle. Sweating? Sweating, yeah. So if I see little puddles under your arms, or I'll know you got hyperhidrosis going on. Not all of you seem really cool. Go green. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. A big one in that category, teams. Even though there is no ocean there, a hurricane 1,200 miles wide has been found on this sixth planet from the sun at its North Pole for 25 points. Name that planet. Everyone's doing their fingers. Golson says we know. Darius, what is it? <laughs> Leontine, what is it? Saturn. Saturn. It's Saturn. They counted the right fingers. Good. 25 points, Golson. Go red. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category. Multiple choice question. Teams, you know you're supposed to water plants, but plants don't like water on their leaves because... <laughs> <laughs> you might have rung in too soon. What did you want to tell me? Uh, it was a multiple choice question. Samuel Ogle, leaves don't like a lot of water on them because it's a source of bacteria and fungus, so they want the water to get off as soon as possible. A lot of times the water will beat up and then sluice off. The force that causes that beating of water on leaves, is that called cohesion, diffusion, or osmosis? What causes water to beat up as the molecules glom together? Osmosis is only most the first one, what was that? What do you think, gentlemen? Cohesion. It is cohesion. Absolutely right. The word almost defines itself. All right. Almost out of time. Green, go. Dateline science for 25. Dateline for 25. Visual question. Look at the monitor. President Obama himself called up the TV show Mythbusters and says, I want you to investigate whether or not that ancient Greek scientist actually... Archimedes. Archimedes. Archimedes, yeah. Archimedes. Archimedes could use a giant mirror and destroy ships by catching them on fire by shoot, using reflection from the sun. And they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. But it intrigued the commander in chief. Go green. Um, Zoop prayed for five. Zoop prayed for five points. Teams on her way to Oz, the only non feline that Dorothy feared was a what? Bears. A bear, that's right. Lions and tigers, they're felines and bears. No, go, red. Um, body systems, body systems, systems for 10. Again? Body systems for body 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, ooh, this is kind of disgusting. If you're suffering from Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome, you might be a candidate for an FMT, which is a fecal microbiotic transplant. Yep. You would get this from someone else put into you. What is that stuff, Golson? Feces? Feces? Feces, yes. Oh, God. You get a poop transplant because you get new flora that actually helps you to get over that disease. Thank you, Darius, for playing along with me on that. Go red. Um, Zuparate for 10? Zuparate for 20 points. No, Zuparate for 20 is gone. That was our um, 10 points. Teams, 
the smallest warm-blooded creature on Earth is often mistaken for a big insect because it flaps its wings so fast. Golson. A hummingbird. A hummingbird is right. Yes, we're down to the... Oh, we're not going to get to those last questions. That buzzer says we've come to the end of our game. It's been a good one. We'll be back in just a moment with a wrap-up. Don't you go away. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet, rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains, can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Welcome back to Science, but what a great game today. Nobody gave up. Everyone demonstrated why they are elite students and here as ambassadors for their school. Our final tally is G. James Golson, 175. Samuel Ogle, 295. Congratulations to Bradley, Essien, and Brandon, Samantha, and Miss Maxwell. You've made one step closer to that goal of yours. Golson, let's see some smiles over here. Nia and Leontine and Darius, you played a great game. Look at the alternates back there. Cindy. Javante, Traquan, Patience, and the wonderful Miss Stacy Henry. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.